As part of an underground nuclear test operation, the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory's Group J6 of the Field Testing Division has the responsibility for the emplacement of the nuclear device and the stemming of the emplacement hole. The operation shown here is the billet event during the summer of... harness pair is placed in a supporting beam and then raised by the downhole crane and moved into position over the emplacement hole. Each harness pair is checked to ensure that its tension test log number agrees with the record. The second harness pair is attached to the first. This operation continues in sequence until the rack reaches the bottom of the hole. The majority of the harness pairs are 80 feet long. The pairs are attached to one another by fittings with pinned connections. The fittings are pressed or swaged to the cable ends. Once the connections are completed, the crane raises the entire assembly and the support beam is removed and fitted to the next harness pair to be picked up. Two basic types of electrical cables are used down hole. The majority of cables are of the coaxial type and are continuously gas blocked. Gas blocking is required to prevent leakage of gases from the underground detonation. The remaining cables are of the multiconductor type, which require the installation of individual gas blocks. The cable bundles are supported by the harness cables by means of Cullum's grips. These grips tighten around the cable bundle when the weight of the cable is applied. The cable bundles are placed on carts to facilitate their movement as the downhole operation progresses. The columns grips are placed on the cable bundles at 25 foot intervals and are attached to the harness cables with U-bolt clamps. One spreader bar is attached to each harness pair to prevent rotation of the assembly as it is lowered into the hole. Special spreader bars with separators are installed at the appropriate locations to facilitate the fanning out of the cables. This allows a coal tar epoxy plug, which is placed in the hole during the backfilling operations, to flow around and seal the spaces between the cables. Chrome rubber sheeting is installed where the fanned out cables converge back into bundles 
to provide protection against the abrasive effects of the sand and gravel during the backfilling operation. When the rack nears the bottom of the hole, a bottoming switch activates and provides an audible signal at the surface. The final position adjustment is made and the tie-off operation proceeds. Plates are attached to the harness cables to transfer the load to the permanent support beam. Now that the downhole operation is complete, the cables are removed from the chute. The chute is then removed. For safety reasons, the load imposed by the stemming material on the downhole system is periodically recorded. To gather this data, an A-frame with load cells supports the harness cables during the stemming operations and provides useful information to the designer. After installation of the A-frame, the stemming hopper is positioned over the hole. The hopper has load cells with remote readout to allow the stemming material to be weighed before it is placed in the hole. The first material placed in the hole is magnetite sand. It functions as shielding around the device rack. The quantity varies depending on the experimental requirements. A portable building houses the remote readout equipment for the load cells. Detailed records are kept during the entire stemming operation to ensure the proper backfilling of the emplacement hole. The next material to be placed in the hole is graded coarse or pea gravel. Alternating layers of coarse and fine material are placed in the hole in a predetermined sequence. The fine material is sand-like and is approximately 20% denser than the coarse material. A depth measuring device called a Halliburton line measures the depth of the stemming material at a minimum of two depths in the emplacement hole Coal tar epoxy plugs are installed as a further containment measure. The epoxy plugs are placed by means of a pipe string, which is lowered into the hole section by section. Each pipe section of the string has its length recorded to ensure the proper position in the emplacement hole. A special support beam is used to support the epoxy plug pipe string at the top of the hole. A specially prepared coarse gravel is placed in the hole concurrently with the epoxy to form the epoxy plug. A ready mix truck delivers the epoxy to the hole. The gravel pour is begun. The epoxy pour commences. After each epoxy plug is poured, the pipe string is cleaned by forcing a rubber wiper or rabbit down the pipe by means of compressed air. The rabbits are caught in a slotted section of pipe at the bottom of the string. The stemming operation continues routinely until the hole is filled. Hole volumes vary from 210 cubic meters or 280 cubic yards for shallow holes to over 1500 cubic meters or 2000 cubic yards for deeper and larger diameter holes. After the stemming operation is complete, all equipment not required is removed and the area is prepared for the test. <laughs>